part I like about the movie is it's kind of a whodunit, and uh, you don't really know who the killer is until probably the last, you know, about three quarters of the way into the film. Um, and we, we hid the killer very well. Um, I, I haven't talked to one person who guessed who the killer is yet. Why are we humans so fascinated with horror? Well, I think for a few reasons. Um, same reason someone might be fascinated with riding a roller coaster. It's scary, but you like it for some reason. Um, I think horror is the same way. Uh, the first ever horror movie I saw was the original Fright Night. I think I was four years old when I saw it. And I remember it really scaring me scaring the hell out of me, but I liked it for some reason. I'm not sure why, you know, I can't necessarily give you a straightforward answer on why, but I think everyone has that, like, kind of almost lust for that, that feeling that you get from a roller coaster or a horror film. We dream every day, even if we don't remember that we're dreaming. And going to the movies, whether you're watching Jurassic Park, or you're watching the Star Wars, or you're watching an everyday film, uh, Story of the Week, you're dreaming about something, or a filmmaker is making you dream about something. And uh, us humans uh, need to dream. Personally, I've been fascinated with horror since I was probably five years old. Um, I grew up with Creature Feature and uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon and Dracula and Werewolf. And then um, I remember when I was a kid, I was probably, say probably like eight or nine years old, I watched a movie called um, Black Christmas, and it was the original. And that movie scared me so much that I couldn't sleep for probably years. I could not, I, I was really scared when I would go to bed every night. And uh, it was just a really scary movie. But I craved it. Like, I, I liked the rush of being scared. And, you know, not knowing that it's not real helps. Alfred Hitchcock once said, in order to make a horror film, you need to find out what a woman's worst fears are and put that in your film. Um, I don't think that's necessarily the only way to make a film. Um, you know, and it's really geared towards what type of audience you're trying to grab. Um, I myself am trying to grab any audience that's willing to watch my film, you know, if it's a 17-year-old kid or if it's a 40-year-old woman, you know. There's not one particular type of person that I'm gearing my movies towards um, you know my my I think both of my movies were um, appealed to the younger generation and the and the older generation um, and I think that's better because you know you're expanding your audience instead of just horror people <laughs> I decided to make horror films because um, I, I love horror, I love the genre. Um, it's unlike any other genre. Um, and also the marketability of horror films nowadays. Um, distribution companies are craving horror because the horror fan is unlike any other fan. It's, it's like a cult. Um, you know, the people that are into horror will watch any horror that's out there. Anything they can get their hands on, they'll watch it. Um, and there's no other fan base like that. Um, you know, you have horror conventions and horror cons and comic cons and all this stuff. And, you know, they're mainly made up of horror fans. And, uh, you know, that, that's why I chose to make horror films. And I probably will only make horror films until I make it big and then maybe I'll try to tackle something else. I, I like filmmaking in general, but I think with a horror movie, you get an added uh, benefit. You know, if you were making a drama or a comedy, I mean, sure, they're funny or it's dramatic, but with a horror movie, you know, you have your special effects and your makeup and it's, there's a certain campiness to it that um, a drama movie wouldn't have. and you know, it, I, I just think it's it's the most creative uh, type of filmmaking that you can do. There's no better feeling than 
watching the audience jump when they're supposed to jump or be scared when they're supposed to be scared. Um, it's kind of a rush that I get when I see that. Um, you know, when we filmed our first movie, we had a lot of quick scares and, you know, ghosts behind the refrigerator door and stuff like that. And um, I remember we had a screening and uh, my mother jumped at one part and I thought she was going to have a heart attack. So it kind of scared me a little bit, but I, I, I got a lot of satisfaction out of, out of seeing that. I've learned that there is no limit pretty much to what you can do with blood and what you can do with screams and what you can do with shadows and what you could do with the fear that you can put into somebody's heart just by filming somebody's shoes walking either down a hallway or in a house or the opening of a door or the slap of the bathroom curtain or somebody pulling out a knife and you're watching the blade. I've learned that people are expecting to jump, to be excited. And once you get that, you got horror films.